86 is a really bold, brilliant aria. It's very um, uh, kind of effervescent and it has a very strong personality. The violin part being a very, very strong, complicated, virtuosic line. One of the ideas is that maybe it's the idea of plucking the roses because the, the text says, I will pluck roses, I will take roses, even if the thorns hurt me or stick in me. Um, and the idea that it's kind of breaking the roses. But for me, it's more like the, the confidence to take the roses. So it's not just the act of plucking the roses, but it's the thing that says, I do this despite the thorns. <laughs> And what I love about this is because it's a very active line. It's a very like physically active line. It's not just the, the idea of the roses, it's really the reaching for the roses. And so it's not kind of like taking a rose gently, it's really like saying, even if I'm stuck with the thorn, I take it. I really take life with this very brilliant virtuosic line. a lot of notes to write down if you were to write all of that. So what a lot of people did, um, you know, just to speed up the process, um, thinking that you had to write every single note uh, by hand, was to write the chord. And to write the word arpeggio, or, or to give an example of how this chord should be broken. And now that's the key, because this chord, normally you have the, the, the head of the note and then the stem. Head of the note stem, head of the note stem. So you have, you could almost say, the little roses stacked on top of each other now. And he literally breaks them. And so he breaks the chord, he breaks the roses. And when you break the rose, you get the thorns. And when you write out it looks very thorny. There's a lot of black ink that goes on the paper. So you have to look at the music in order to see that. As a picture, it came, it sprang to me, and I thought, hmm, maybe. Within the aria, there are these two ideas. There's the idea of the sweetness and the beauty of the roses, which is the positivity of life, and the pain of the thorns. And so we are looking for the chance to make these two things very clear. So a very kind of sweet and lyrical way of singing about the roses, but then with getting pricked by the thorns, it should sound kind of brittle and hard as well. And so we're actually doing a little bit with the phrasing to show that there's something kind of painful happening. <laughs> we had roses in our garden. It would be a proper English garden with roses. Huh? We have one rose bush, but it's, I'm afraid, it struggles. I'm not a very good gardener. And so there's more thorns than there are roses, I'm afraid, on my rose bush. But uh, we'll keep trying. Maybe that's what I need to do for the next 10 years is concentrate on roses in the garden.